Hi there, I'm Matt Williams, Managing Director, Aerial Motion Pictures and founder of the Icarus Drone Training Course. Very quick video now, just to show you how to, uh, when you first get your Mavic Pro 2, how to remove the battery and get the aircraft battery and the um, actual remote controller itself charging. Um, there have been a few problems I think people have found because there's um, strange shaped connectors. So we'll, we'll run through all of that now. So when you get your aircraft initially, it will come with the battery installed. As always, we recommend that you never keep the aircraft with the battery installed. Make sure you take the battery out whenever your aircraft isn't being flown. So to remove the um, battery from the aircraft, two um, buttons, one on either side of the battery itself, press and squeeze those in and the uh, battery will come out of the aircraft. Put the aircraft away safely and then the battery itself if we look on the bottom side of it there's a large connector and fairly straightforward actually the aircraft battery i would suggest you've got the dji power brick um, figure of eight lead coming into the um, power brick itself and then actually what you'll find is if we start this off as it will come the battery kind of charging brick looks like this and this large connector quite straightforward I think fits onto the battery itself there's actually a, a cutout in the corner of the the battery connector on the intelligent flight battery which matches up nicely with the charging block connect that up it doesn't kind of click in or anything like it used to with DJI products it just simply presses on um, and holds itself on there and when the battery is successfully charging the ring the green ring on the battery will um, will start to dance around this battery at the moment as you can see is between um, 50 and 75 percent so each kind of quarter of the ring represents 25 percent of the battery if two of them um, are being highlighted that'd be anywhere between 25 and 50 percent three of them um, 50 to 75 percent then when all four are lit you're between 75 and 100 it'll then slow down the charge um, takes about an hour and 15 hour and 20 to charge one of these batteries from empty um, and when the whole thing is lit, it will then go out once the battery is fully charged. Um, and then, you know, the battery is at 100%. The part that we have found has been catching people out is this part. So how do I go and charge my controller? Well, actually fairly straightforward when you know how. On the top left side, as you look at the controller itself, there's a connector, which is actually the data connector. Um, it's a joint data and power connector that goes between the remote controller itself and whichever smart device would be an Android or iPhone you've got connected. This is the cable. Disconnect that and inside is a slightly strange looking connector which is what tends to catch people out. It's actually a, um, a square micro USB connector which can accept micro USB square and micro USB beveled. And the problems that we then find are twofold. So hidden inside and the kind of side of the the power brick itself is a micro USB adapter and it's the beveled type of adapter. Okay, now the trick with these square um, connectors are that they can accept a micro USB square and a micro USB beveled. So actually, this connector does fit, it just can be a little bit fiddly. And the trick is take the connector out, there's not much play unfortunately, which is a bit frustrating, and it goes in so that the top of the connector points up towards the top of the remote controller there. So the cable follows the direction of the cable that comes out of the controller itself to connect your phone. And if we connect that in, push it in, it actually goes in fairly easily once you've done it the first time. And then the, uh, the remote controller itself will be charging. Gives you about two hours 15 of operating time when it's fully charged. 31 minutes from the uh, the standard Mavic 2 battery there. Um, and the best thing to do is to just leave them apart. The brick can get quite hot when it's charging a battery and the remote controller. Um, and again, that will um, turn itself off once it's fully charged. So hopefully fairly helpful. Like I say, the thing that tends to catch people out the most is the, um, the square micro USB connector inside of the, um, the remote controller itself. And the fact that the connector to power that and to charge that remote controller is kind of hidden, if you like, inside of the power brick itself. 
I hope that was helpful. Please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more content coming on the Mavic 2 Pro and all of the different um, aircraft and rules and regulations that we work with and are in and around all day, every day. Um, be sure to drop any comments below if you want to see more, if you've got any comments on the video or if you'd like us to do um, things slightly differently. We're always keen to hear from you guys and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Fly safe.